Women, smallholder farmers in Nasara states are employing alternative ways to secure their produce amid the negative ripple effect of climate change and incessant feathers farmers' conflict. The ICIR visited Awe, Kafi, Obi, Tonto, and Wamba local government areas to capture these alternative ways. Victoria Akalai, a farmer and woman leader from Obi local government who lost her husband during a conflict between herders and farmers, narrates how she manages a guinea corn farm against all odds. When you go to the farm now, you will see so many farms, they need fertilizer. No money for us to do that. We find it very difficult in this our village because things are somehow to us. See how we used to uh, pay our the school fees of our children. It's very high this nowadays. Even myself, my husband has died and this year, how I suffer before I pay the school fees of my children. In fact, only God that can knows that. So we need your help. Even if the go if the government will see us through, we agree with us by the grace of God. We are putting our hope to see that government will help us, the women, because all this suffering in the house, the, with the women that were facing it. A husband would just come to the home if he didn't see anything that is inside the home. He would just move out, leaving you with your children, suffering, eh, no any ingredients to cook. In a way, local government, reduced rainfall has resulted in output decline for rice farmer Sarah Albert. Before, as rain used to fall from March to October ending, we used to we used to plant. Uh, we, if if I plant rice, I used to get fifty to sixty bucks. But now, as the rain re reduce, I get ten bucks, five bucks only. So the money was reduced. I only get. 30,000, 40,000, so... Sarah is not the only one facing reduced harvest due to reduced rainfall. Maize farmer Mona Beatrice in Tonto local government faces the same challenge. When there was rain, years back, I used to have maize, 26 bags. At times, I will have 35 bags. But now, hardly... I have 18, 15. 75 percent of the farming population in the country are female, says the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. However, this does not make it a work in the park for female farmers who are constantly battling obstacles. Sarah Shambua is one of the female farmers from Wamba local government area that has suffered low harvest as a result of cattle feeding on our crop. In 2019, the rain started in April to uh, uh, November, but I have realized that from 2020, the rain started from April and ended in August. And the uh, amount of crops that, crops that I used to get, the, the bags has reduced. For example, rice is not up to a bag that I get. And the guinea corn is only two bags, the uh, maize is only three bags. The egusi, I think it's only a half of bag that I get in my farm. Even the cassava, we have a problem of uh, this has men. They uh, spoil it on the farm. Nothing, I get nothing from the cassava. And this wake shiru is only about 20 majors that I got in my farm. Experts say climate change is a factor in the persistent headers farmers conflict. Desert encroachment has continually reduced availability of pasture for heathers and it has also reduced the availability of arable land. The female farmers spoken with ask for government support in terms of loans, security on their farms and adequate provision of fertilizers. They also urge the government to tackle diversion of farm supplements meant for them. And we want, uh, we ha we want them to assist us in tractor. Yes, we want them to assist on the tractor. When, we, when the tractor enter our farm, then we see if we plant, uh, if we plant everything, you see they will start growing, 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 far, far. 
So we want them to assist on the tractor and the fertilizer. Government to help me with irrigation. I want them to help me with money and seeds, good variety, so that it will increase my farm production. Meanwhile, the Nasawa Commission of Agriculture and Water Resources, Otaki Alanana, has this to say. The state has policy to support farmers in all its ramifications. These policies are that those that are the driving force in the agri sector are the small scale holders in the rural areas. And for most of them that are there, we encourage them to partner with us in the area of extension service. There are things that they don't understand. We ask them to come forward to receive this information from us, to receive training from us, free of charge. So for policy statement of the state, it is our responsibility to support agri sector by providing inputs necessary for that matter to the teeming farming population of the state, as well as giving them extension service free of charge, as well as introducing them to new production design. And this is why we are also encouraged to partner with giants in agri-technology industry. On the diversion of fertilizers and supplements, Alanana said he is unaware of the allegation but promised to investigate and deal with the perpetrators. He said the government is working to provide solutions to the security challenges. The farmer in the bush over there needs security of the government. The header over there in the bush also needs security of the government. But for us in Nasrawa State, there has been always security committee meeting chaired by His Excellency Gina A. Sule. So, the state is on top of it, and I know that uh, the security committee comprises credible people. The police is involved, the state security service is involved, the army is involved, the civil defense is involved. So, it's an assemblage of credible individuals who have knowledge of intelligence gathering and how they can also handle it. Also, the chairman State House of Assembly Committee on Agriculture said the executive and parliament will collaborate on a beneficial law for farmers. Yeah, the assurances we give to the women farmers is, you know, there are some incentives that government is supposed to make available, provisions of uh, insecticides, provisions of improved varieties for farming, giving out uh, some loan in order to boost agriculture, and not only that, encouraging them in involving in the modern system of farming. That it to say it, so that they will involve in a commercial, not a subsistence farming. So once if they involve in a commercial, I think with the effort we can equally feed not only Nasara state, it can be extended to other states and even beyond. So we want to in, in, at least collaborate with the government to intensify effort to ensure that we give them the necessary attention in order to boost their production.